Hey, Teddy Rubskin here, and uh, we're continuing with the fucking Halloween movies, and we're on what? Halloween 5? The Revenge of Michael Myers! Hey, <laughs> yeah. Don't well, fuck it around. Michael Myers is back. We're not gonna fucking throw you a curveball and make a movie about some kids in fucking Halloween masks or nothing. No. It's the fucking guy with the knife. Right. And now he's seeking revenge. He returned in four, and now in five, he wants revenge. Yeah. Basically, continues events from the fucking last movie. At the end of that movie, you were fucking supposed to think that Michael Myers was dead when he fell down a fucking mine shaft. But no, he comes fucking crawling out at the beginning of fucking five. And continues going after the fucking little girl. Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter. Who's now starting to develop a fucking psychic link with Myers. Yeah, and stuff. And fucking stuff. It's fucking stupid. <sighs> Complete waste of your fucking time, really. Don't even waste your time with the revenge of Michael Myers. Or the fucking next movie. Fucking Halloween 6, The Curse of Michael Myers. Yeah, the return is followed by the revenge, which of course is followed by the curse of fucking Michael Myers. God damn it. Now you gotta give 6 a little credit. Because it tries to fucking tie in all the fucking movies and explain why Michael Myers goes on the fucking killing sprees on fucking Halloween. Right? Yeah. Yeah, they go up with the idea. It's some kind of cult who worships the moon. Mm. They're like druids or something. So it has something to do with the fucking moon. Or, you know, All Hallows Eve, the fucking pagan holiday. Fucking Halloween's based on. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Fuck, I get you what you're trying to do, but it's still fucking stupid. Dumb. He's just a psycho. What? What the? What, why? What is so hard to get about that? No, it's got to be a fucking cult. No, no, no. Whatever you. Yeah. So they fucking try and sacrifice, you know, his fucking niece, Jamie Lee Curtis's daughter, because she's of the bloodline or whatever. The bloodline of what? What? Hmm. Halloween six. Straight up fucking sucks. Don't even waste your time. Hmm. But then they made. Fucking Halloween H2O, 20 years later, which is probably one of the fucking stupidest titles of any of them. Halloween H2O? Like water? Or what is it, H20? That, that didn't sound any better. <clears throat> Still sounds like a chemical formula of some kind. Stupid. But this one actually turns out to be fucking good. We got Jamie Lee Curtis back, yeah! In fact, the best thing the fucking film does is it completely ignores all the events of Halloween 3, 4, 5, and 6. And in fact, considers the only real Halloween movies to be 1 and 2. Right on, man. That's exactly fucking right. You know, you got Halloween 1, then Halloween 2, and then 20 years later, you know, there's Jamie Lee Curtis who, uh, you know, appropriately faked her own death in order to, you know, run away. And in fact, it also recognizes the cinematic connections to fucking Psycho. And there's Je fucking Janet Lee shows up in the fucking film, standing next to the fucking car from Psycho that would become her watery grave. Yeah. Yeah. Halloween H2O is pretty fucking awesome. Even despite his fucking weak ass title. <sighs> but of course, they had to fucking ruin it and make Halloween Resurrection. Which, uh, you could kind of see as Halloween 8, but you could also fucking see as, a, since it's a fucking follow-up to, uh, H2O, which I consider to be a, a proper 3 that we never fucking got since we had Halloween 3 Season of the Witch. Halloween H2O is actually the proper 3 that we were supposed to fucking see years ago. But, you know, here it is, 20 years later, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You could see fucking Halloween Resurrection as Halloween 4. But frankly, I don't see it as shit, because it fucking, it fucking sucks, so I don't count it at all. Well, I mean, first of all, they fucking rewrite the ending of H2O so that Mike Myers is not fucking decapitated. Well, how, how could you fucking do that? He could have actually done that. Switch places with the fucking guy. But, well, you know, yeah, whatever. But the biggest fucking crime it does is it fucking kills Jamie Lee Curtis. Fucking, er, very fucking early on in the film. I mean, the minute she fucking falls from the window, I mean, for, for, from the roof, right, and dies, movie's fucking over for me. Might as well fucking turn it off. What am I sticking around for? 
See Michael Myers kill Buster Rhymes? Well, okay, maybe I'll stick around for that. But God damn it, what the hell? And then fucking along came Rob Zombie to fucking make a fucking remake of fucking Halloween. Yeah. And you know what? He did a pretty decent job. I thought his remake on Halloween was pretty damn good. You know, he didn't really take anything a fucking way from Halloween. Just added a whole lot of stuff. You know, mostly about the fucking kid, Michael Myers, fucking growing up in a fucking insane asylum. You know. And uh, and Donald Pleasance in this new one is played by Malcolm McDowell, who's fucking awesome. One of my fucking top ten bad guy movie actors. He's fucking awesome. Love him. And he has, has a lot of screen time in this film, actually, you know, working with the little kid. Who, and the, all he wants to do is fucking make masks and stab people. Come on. Leave the kid alone. Let him make masks and stab people, right? Everybody's got to have a hobby. But then he had to go fuck it up with fucking Halloween 2. Rob Zombie's Halloween 2. Fucking sucks. Fucking ridiculous, over-the-top crap. You know, for me, fucking Rob Zombie goes in and out. Sometimes he's over the top and kind of annoying. Other times, he's pretty fucking cool. You know, like Devil's Rejects, I fucking liked that movie. That was badass. But House of a Thousand Corpses was just over the top, goofy gore, and uh, little too trauma for me. You know what I'm talking about? Yeah. Okay, let's review. We got Halloween 1 and 2, which are fucking awesome. Great double feature. The events of the first film are continued in the fucking second film great-ass fucking movies. Then there's Halloween 3, 4, 5, and 6 that all fucking suck. And then Halloween 7, H2O, that doesn't even recognize 3, 4, 5, and 6 even fucking happened. Right? And Halloween fucking 8 sucks too. So that's fucking, what? Uh, three movies out of fucking 8 that are good? Three out of 8? That is fucking terrible fucking ratio. Man. Jesus. That's almost as fucking bad as Hellraiser's fucking ratio, man. Shit. Plus the fucking two other movies. Rob Zombie's movies. The first one's alright, but the second one sucks. So that's ten movies. Four out of ten are good. Mmm, that's bad. That's fucking bad. I mean, there's only six Leprechaun movies. And that fucking probably has better fucking ratio than fucking Halloween. Seriously. Damn. Oh well. Next time we're fucking gonna be talking about the Texas Chainsaw Massacre. So fucking get ready for that. It's gonna be badass. <laughs> Until then, keep it real. Yeah! Yeah!